Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. If you already read the title of this video, you know we're going to be unboxing the rigid brushless 18 volt hybrid propane heater. So I just want to get right into it, you know, you look at the box, normal rigid layout. Um, it's got the three-year limited warranty from date of purchase, it says. This one says the new and improved. It's got a brushless motor technology, brushless 18-volt hybrid forced air propane heater. This says uh, all-day runtime up to 12 hours of continuous tank time. The industry's quietest heater. And I picked this up at Home Depot for uh, 129 bucks before tax. I really didn't think that was bad. Now, as you guys know, I've got a wood stove here in the shop, so you might be saying, why did you buy a propane heater? That seems crazy, right? Well, in the mornings I gotta get out here and get to work, and that wood stove takes a while to heat the shop up. So I figured, well, I could start that and start this, heat the shop up quick, and then just move this to the side and I could get to work. Another great uh, advantage of having a propane heater that's gonna run on a battery is the fact that I could take this to a job site. If I got an on-site carve and it's winter or chilly out, there's potential that I could have some place to just kind of warm myself up. Um, this also plugs into the wall, so it's not straight up battery. You can also plug it into a 110 outlet and uh, you'll be just fine there. So I did do a little bit of research, you know, in that sense. I also looked to see what um, reviews this thing had, and it had several um, Several good reviews, a lot of happy customers, so that was a big playing factor in me buying it, which is probably why you're here as well and may potentially you know, push you to buy it. So when we look at the back, it's a lot of the information that was on the front. Um, it says high heat output with variable power dial. 30,000 to 60,000 BTU output to keep warm on the coldest job sites. Um, Brushless motor technology delivers more runtime, longer motor life. Electronics ignition easily starts up with an electronic igniter button. ETL certified with overheat protection to ensure safety on the job site and prevent overheating. Uh, I think I've pretty much read everything on the box. So let's cut this thing open and start pulling it all out. I'm gonna admit, my box looks like it's been opened before. <laughs> There's quite a bit of uh, packing tape on here, and I haven't bought a rigid tool that much packing tape before, so. But I will say, hey, opening it, I can tell everything is new and hasn't been removed yet. It's got all the uh, the stuff they pack everything with, nice and tight so nothing moves. Everything's in bags, as usual, with a brand new tool. They're always in a bag, it seems like. So, uh, yeah, basically you reach in, there's the handle. Boom. Get my pamphlet. Just some foam in there. Packing piece with nothing in it. Another piece of packing cardboard. Need that. This looks like the hose to uh, hook it up to the propane tank. This will run right off your grill tank. If you have a grill, you've got that uh, 20 pound tank there. That's what this is meant for. You can hook it right up to that and you're good to go. Um, I believe some of the reviews and things I had read online said this comes with a 15 foot hose. It looks like a pretty, pretty long hose here, so that's good. That means you can move the tank outside potentially. Um, you know, warnings with that. With this kind of unit, you know, are like, don't be running this thing inside um, for long periods of time. It's supposed to be in a well ventilated place. Make sure if you are to purchase this item, you read all the instructions, all the safety instructions, and follow them. You know, I mean, it's got to be safe, right? I could say this unit is light. Man, this thing is light. There's like 
nothing to it. That's light. Surprising. Got this little card on here. This is uh, this looks like it's wired right to the units. So they want you to keep that on apparently. Yeah, safety stuff. No worries. We'll keep it on there. All right. Some threads and a nipple here to attach the hose for the propane tank. I think I'm going to start off by just getting that right on, getting this thing right together. It's about, I don't know, it's in the 30s this morning out here in the shop. It's already pretty chilly. I'm out here, it's five something in the morning getting this thing together, doing this video. So a little bit of heat wouldn't be half bad today. <laughs> We got winter coming on early, it feels like, here in New York, and uh, yeah, nothing better though than having some more heat. Gets tough when you're doing certain projects, and you've got to do finishes on tables, or bears even, and it's just, it's too cold outside. You know, I can't do that stuff outside anymore, because now the weather has just changed, so I have to move inside, which comes with its own bit of hazards. So sometimes I got to heat the shop up and then shut the heat down due to whatever I'm using just for safety precautions. It, it's craziness, I tell you, it's craziness. All right, now that I made this in my way for the video, that's just perfect. So looking at the unit, <clears throat> we got an on and off button here, it just pushes in and out. Temperature control, low to high, it's just got a minus plus sign. And this must be just the ignition. It's just got a little flame on it so I would assume we turn the temperature control turn it on hit that and it'll ignite and we'll have some flamage um, you know it's a really nice looking unit it says uh, gen 5x brushless here on the back the reviews I read said that any any um, 18 volt would work so I'm really hoping that that's the truth you know and that any 18 volt will work with it that'll be pretty cool um basically there's no cord sticking out you've got to plug an extension cord in and run the extension cord to the unit and it's got to fit up inside there so just a heads up with that and it's over here in the back you'll have to plug the extension cord in, and the battery pack goes right here luckily i've got a battery pack out here already right here off my screw gun that should just fit right in, which it does. Cool. Power's on. It's blowing. Turn that back off. That's pretty cool. Throw a battery in it, she fires right up. Boy, I'm excited about this thing. Hmm. All right. Sticks a little getting that battery out, but hey. It's a new tool. I'm going to grab my propane tank right here, and we'll hook this baby up quick. So propane tank, nothing special. It's just blue rhino. You can pick it up at Walmart. They'll swap them out for you. Easy to get. That's why I, I go with it. Have any issues, I just take it back and get another tank. It's kind of nice that they just swap them out like that. Get this connector end off here. A little safety thing. Kind of like that. You don't need a wrench to put this into the tank. That's cool. I always get these threads goofy because when you're putting the threads on a propane tank, it goes counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Just a reminder. <laughs> Most of you know, you'll probably call me dumb. Whatever. I always forget. Got to make sure you go counterclockwise though. Boy, that little handle on there makes life easier. You don't have to try to put a wrench on it, so that's kind of nice. Let's twist it in. Stick the battery back in here. Clicked in place. That's tight. I need this. Let's turn the propane on. Propane's on. I don't hear, smell, anything leaking. 
I know propane is an odorless gas, but when it is put into tanks out for sale, an odor is put into it so that it can be detected. So, all right, let's turn this thing on and see what happens. on pretty cool so when you hit the on button you'll hear it clicking click 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 right then you hold the flame button and you turn the temperature control up a little so it releases gas um, you could also just read the instructions from within the box I'm really bad at doing that stuff I just figure it out myself but you know I'm assuming that's probably what's in the bag Yeah, this thing is cranking already. Got some nice heat going there. All right, so we got some nice heat already coming out of there. Um, I did just witness a couple little sparks coming out the end, so make sure you don't leave this thing unattended. Um, yeah, that could be really unsafe. Plus, when you think about it, the end of this has a flame coming out a little bit, and that could just burn your whole shop down. So. You know, there's ups and downs to this kind of heat. There really is. This is going to heat up quick, but you got to make sure you're out there paying attention, keeping an eye on it, being safe. Um, it's quiet, though. It really is. It's quiet. And the battery is operating a fan, too. So there's a little fan back here. The battery is running that little fan, blowing this heat. If I can get this thing turned. Let me get this propane tank down. There. You guys see what that looks like? Some flamage going on in there. I mean, as you can see, you got some real fire happening. You don't want to burn nothing up, so just, just be safe, you know. But I would say this is a great little item to have for the job site. You know, you're gonna be working outside, you're gonna be something like that, you need a little bit of heat. I mean, 129 bucks, that's really not a bad deal. If you already have the rigid batteries, you can run this thing. They've got some of them newer octane batteries that you get a lot of run time. I'm sure those things will last quite a while. I hope to get some octane batteries put in this and we can really see how long this lasts, you know. I mean, right now I'm impressed. I, I like it. I think this thing is great. I can't wait to really use it this winter. Um, keep an eye out in some future videos. I'm sure you guys will see this thing heating up the shop or outside or on a job site just getting used. So, hope this video will help you out. Let's turn this down here so you guys can hear me. Hope this video will help you guys out in your purchase of this unit. Um, be sure to check the description below for some links. I'll try to put a link up to this and anything else in the video. You guys can purchase through that. It'll be Amazon links. Those purchases will help this channel grow. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Real quick before you go, I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to my channel. When you hit subscribe, be sure to hit the little bell that pops up. That way there you can be alerted when I have some new videos uploaded. I thank you guys again. You can follow this link right here to hit subscribe. Check out some of these videos that are popping up, and I'll see you next time.